If you are a cybersecurity professional and looking for a refresher for your knowledge and skills, or you are aspiring to become a cybersecurity professional, then you have come to the right place. In this series of Microsoft Security Operations Analyst, I will guide you through the step by step process to become a cybersecurity expert. In this series, I will introduce you to the key skills and the tools that you will require to become a security expert. You will learn how to use Microsoft security tools like Sentinel and Defender to detect and respond to the cyber threats. Well, let's dive in and explore the world of Microsoft security together. My name is Navneet Kumar and I'm a Microsoft certified trainer. If you are new to the channel, please do subscribe it for future updates and the videos. The SC200 course teaches you how to use the Microsoft security tools like Microsoft Sentinel, Microsoft Defender for Cloud and Microsoft Defender XDR to detect, investigate and respond to cyber threats. Here you will learn how to set up and use the Microsoft Sentinel to monitor and manage security alerts, how to use custom query language, also referred as KQL for finding and analyzing the threats. How to protect your systems by using these tools to respond and to reduce the cyber risks. By the end, you will know how to manage security and respond to threats in cloud and in on-premises environments. The learners should have some prerequisites and the knowledge like basic understanding of Microsoft Defender, fundamental understanding of Microsoft security compliance and identity products, intermediate understanding of Windows 11, familiarity with Microsoft Azure portal and services, specifically Azure monitoring and the Azure log analytics, familiarities with Azure virtual machines and virtual networking, and basic understanding of scripting concepts. If you are completely new to these services, then don't worry. I will put the link to my videos that I have already done in past on this channel in the description of this video. You should create your Microsoft Learn profile to keep all your certifications, badges, transcript and the modules all in one single place that you can share with your employers or others to showcase your skills. Also you get an option to add the modules with self-directed learning. For this, all you need to do is you need to go to learn.microsoft.com and sign up with a Microsoft account. Also, you should consider taking Microsoft certifications because 92% of certified IT professionals feel more confident in their abilities after earning these certifications. That is, in implementing their skills or using their skills for designing and implementing the solutions. This is the report from the Pearson VUE. If you want to get recognized by earning the industry validation for technical knowledge, then ensure you stay current with the necessary skills and expertise for continued success. That is where for Microsoft role-based and specialty certifications, it requires the annual renewal of your certification. But don't worry, this renewal is actually at no cost and is available online. You can learn about the Microsoft certificate rene certification renewal process from the link I have given in the description. The fundamental certifications do not require any renewal. The SC200 exam covers these four key domains. The first domain is Manage and Security Operations Environment, which covers 20 to 25% of the exam. Configure Protections and the Detections covers 15 to 20%. Manage Incident Response covers 35 to 40% of the exam. Perform Threat Hunting covers 15 to 20%. Higher the percentage, the higher chances to get the questions in the exam. This blueprint helps you in deciding that what are the key topics or areas where you need to emphasize for your preparation. I will be doing 
the exam prep videos also you can look into that and you can take the practice assessment from Microsoft's website directly you will find the link in the description of this video well this brings to the end of this introductory topic on the SC200 Microsoft Security Analyst series and I will see you in the next video of this series. Till then.